guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of things i still like hair care if you didn't see part one which is things i still like in care and part two things i still like makeup i will link them down below and you can check those out when i decided to get back into filming my youtube channel was i went back through all the favorites videos and wrote down everything that i liked and then thought okay what out of all this stuff do i still like and do i still use and that's what these products are the next video will be things i have always liked and never told you about because i'm dumb video so keep your eye out for that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up up. thank you so much for watching all the information will be in the description box for all the products that i talked about links to the other videos and all my links to my social media my instagram my snapchat my twitter and my facebook so check those out and let's get on to the video so I'm not into hair as much as I am into skincare and makeup because I live in Florida and really even if I got my hair to like have like some nice body like I can in say Colorado or something in Florida it's just pointless you go outside and it ends up looking like this so I kind of have found what works in Florida and then I don't even really branch out from that all that much because there's no point so with that being said, this is gonna be a short video. So I have two shampoos that are my favorites. One of them is this Biolage Matrix Volume Bloom Collection. You can get this at Ulta, CVS, Target. I usually try and buy as much at Ulta as I can because they have such an amazing points program and you get that money back and you can spend it on things you don't need, like some makeup product or whatever. Anyway, this is a shampoo. The conditioner looks just like this. It does not weigh my hair down. When I have taken it out of Florida, I have found that it actually does give your hair body. It is a very nice shampoo and it smells great. Conditioner is not too heavy, but it's not too light. I don't like a conditioner that's too light either and then my hair is really tangled and I can't get it untangled and I'm just breaking my hair. I do not want a conditioner that is that light. And this Biowash conditioner is not that light. It's perfect. The other one that I will use, and I use this in the summer or if I am going on a beach vacation, is the Sun Balm Beach Formula. This is UV protecting and it's enriched with coconut oil, banana, pulp and peel, banana leaf, quinoa protein, and sunflower seed oil. If I'm going to the beach and I know I'm going to be outside all the time and I want my hair to have a little bit more protection, I do um, highlight it so I want it to stay the color that I want it to be. I don't really want it to get bleached by the sun and I don't want it to get damaged by the sun so I will use the shampoo and conditioner from the Sun Balm because it has some UV protection in it and of course it's Sun Balm. It smells delicious. You can get this at Ulta or Target also. It's not volume shampoo. It's hydrating and revitalizing but it does not weigh down my hair. If I'm not going to wash my hair, which I try not to wash my hair every single day, but I want to kind of give it a refresh. I really love this Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. It just has a really nice clean scent. You can just spray it all in your hair rub it in brush it out it does get out a lot of the grease that's in your hair no it's not as good as washing your hair but it's better than nothing there's a lot of dry shampoos i don't like because they don't work or they make your hair more greasy and this one does not do that and it is dove so it's affordable you can if you have really dark hair it may leave a little bit of a white cast and so you could use that batiste dark one but for me it is fine the last shampoo that i really like is this big shampoo from lush it's seesaw seaweed and fresh citrus juices give limp hair body volume and serious shine and it does give your hair body and volume but what I like the most about this is that I feel like when my hair has product build up this is when I'll use this I'll use it like say once a week or so because I feel like it gives it like a really good clean and gets out all that crap and maybe that's why it gives you volume is because it's getting out all the stuff that's weighing down your hair or if I haven't washed my hair for a couple days and it feels extra extra dirty I will use this it lathers up really really nice it smells really really great your hair will be like more voluminous and shiny when you get done using it so yes give that a shot now when I get out of the shower I do like to spray a little bit of detangler in this part of my hair and underneath in case I get overzealous washing it but I don't like a really heavy detangler and one that is still my favorite is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in light it has like a thick formula like if you shake it you can't 
hear it shaking around in there, but when you spray it out, it's not thick. And I just put like a couple little squirts over this over my head and then I feel like I can brush my hair and I'm not breaking it and that this does a good job of detangling without weighing it down. I do like to spray something in my hair to try and give it a little bit of oomph and more like texture so it's not just like so slick after I wash it. And my two favorite ways to do that, the first is the Moroccan Oil Root Boost. You can use this all in your roots or you can just hold your hair out and kind of spray it all in your hair and just generally give your hair like more oomph. My hairdresser uses this when I get my hair done and she just kind of puts it all in my hair and that's what I'll do at home a lot. It's just kind of like a one and done type thing. It smells great and it does work very well. Another thing from the drugstore that I found that works really well, the Suave Volume 24 Hour Volume and Hold Weightless Blow Dry Spray. This is kind of the same thing. You just spray it all in your hair. This one, I feel when you use it, it gets a little bit stickier. If you blow dry your hair and that's how you style it, like I do with like a round brush, don't use too much of this because if you have too much in it your brush won't go nicely through your hair this will stick it up a little bit but as long as you don't put too much in it it is really nice it gives a nice volume just use it a little bit more sparingly don't go ham and spray all over your head because then your brush is going to get stuck i do really like this and i still use this also you know you have too many products and you just kind of use what you feel like on the day you're like eh, i'll use this lastly my favorite hair ties are these karina hair ties and i only find these at Ulta. These have the best amount of elastic in them. It's not too much. It's not too little. I can get it around my ponytail three times and it is secure but it's not too tight so it's not breaking your hair. So, you know if your ponytail holder is too tight it will break your hair off right where your ponytail is and these do not do that. They're thicker and they are non-damaging and they're like three dollars for this whole pack. So I really like these Karina hair ties. I will go to Ulta specifically to get these. I don't use anything else. After I found these. That was it. We were in love. That is it for my What I Still Like Hair. Like I said, this is the shortest of the videos, but these are great products, and if you don't live in a super human environment, they will work even better for you than they work for me. I will link all the information for these products down below, along with everything else that you need to know, and I will see you in my next video. Things I have always liked and forgot to tell you about. Bye!